Welcome to ECU Masters Training Part 2. In this video, we're going to take a look at creating custom page layouts with inner ECU Masters software, as well as checking out the defined page layouts that I've supplied for our training course. We're going to have a lot of things to cover within this video, so let's jump in so we can check them out. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at creating custom page layouts in our ECU Master software. We're going to be finding this is probably the very first thing we need to get out of the way for the training course because what they provided us here for page layouts is definitely not going to be optimal and you really can't navigate through the software efficiently unless we understand how to create a custom page layout and being able to do that ourselves or we're also going to be taking a look in this video of using some of the page layouts that I've actually supplied in our training course. So we're going to look at both, uh, but I want to get out of the way how to create a custom one first so that you're familiar with the things that we need to be aware of and, and, and setting up for the page layout so that if you need to replicate it on your own, you're able to do that and not um, trying to figure out how to do that to the page layouts that I've given you. So you're able to use the page layouts just as is that I've supplied or you can go in and change things in the page layout. Maybe you want to see less information or more information. There's going to be that flexibility and that option because you're going to know how to do it. So let's jump in here and take a look at creating a custom page layout. So uh, first and foremost, let's just cover what a page layout actually is. So we have here in our logs tab, this is going to be our first page. We can see we have a cranking page and a trigger page and an ignition page. The layout represents how we have our tables or the information displayed here on this particular page. So if we want to look at maybe for ignition timing here, we want to look at our main spark timing table and our ignition modifier tables. Right now, we wouldn't know what our air temp compensation or the engine coolant temp compensation is doing um, because we don't have those up on our screen here. So in our tree, we can find that we have all these tables here. If we look at the corrections, we have these tables that are here. They're hidden. They're not displayed. So we don't know what is going on with those tables. And our job is to try to get as many pieces of information onto the screen as efficiently as possible. So if we're trying to evaluate the overall performance of our engine, whether we're going to be just doing our tuning on the dyno or we're going to be doing our tuning on the track, we need to have that data available and we need to have all of our tables here editable. We don't want to have to constantly go in here and if we have a dedicated page here and constantly bump into the different pages and click through and open up something and then have to close it and then open up something else. It's just not going to be efficient. So in order to improve your efficiency, in order to be um, as precise as possible in making your changes, we want to get, again, these page layouts optimized for doing our tuning. So we can see we have several here supplied. These, again, this is the default page layouts right from ECU Masters and is definitely less than optimal. So let's get this out of the way. Let's create our custom page here and just see um, some of the cause and effect as we're populating some of our information in. So right here, the very first page, this is labeled logs. We can see it's on this orange box that's going to be highlighting where we're actually on. So if I'm on cranking, it'll illustrate that. It'll highlight here in orange. If I'm on logs, it'll be going here and, and illustrating it. So if I want to go in here and make a dedicated page for just starting, um, I need to go first relabel this. We don't want to label logs. We want to know what the page is dedicated for. So if we're trying to do start, start tuning, so our start fuel or ignition, um, we want to be able to just quickly go to that page and look at all the tables and information associated with that task. So we need to rename this. So in order to do that, we're going to right click, go to rename active tab. That's going to allow us to do the renaming process. Now, a couple things about this just to be aware of. We cannot have more than seven characters here in the name. Now you certainly are able to type more than that, but it's going to be cutting off the eighth character in whatever you type. So we can see here cranking, we can see the G here is missing. So that's going to be essentially limiting us in how many characters we can have in here. So if I wanted to type in here starting, if I typed in starting, okay, we can see the G is going to be missing. So what I'll do here is just label it start. So just keep that in mind as you're creating your custom labels um, for each of these pages at the top. So right now, I have it labeled start, so I'm able to put my information in here related to starting. So what I'm going to do here is close out my tables that I have open. I want to be specific and looking at what I have available here for starting. So in order to get some information here on the screen, we first want to have our live data up on the screen that's going to allow us to see what is going on as we're doing our tuning process. So we'll go here to log. And we're going to find in Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.